threw it on. I really just, I she just threw it on. Yeah. I really did just throw it on. I remember my first Star Trek game board was with you, actually. Was it? Yeah, like, you had, like, remember when I came over to your place? Oh, yeah, wait, and then you, you brought your dad's curry, right? Yeah, yeah. you guys a quick plant tour of the garden I've accumulated pretty much since quarantine started last March or May something like that uh, it started with my boyfriend and I making these uh, wooden planters out of just the scrap wood I had around my house uh, I tried doing an herb garden that really didn't work it failed and then uh, I tried something a little bit, I guess, easier, which is succulents. Uh, I just showed you guys my indoor plants, but yeah, I'm pretty proud of where this collection has gone. It also definitely reminds me of how much of a community I have, since a lot of these plants were given to me, or people just didn't want them anymore, so they handed it off to me, or there were cuttings, or I found cuttings on a walk, like on the floor. Um, and then I was able to make a new life out of them. So I thought it'd be like a nice little thing to show you guys kind of the story behind each of these plants. Not every single one of them, that would be a little bit too lengthy, but just a couple of the plants and yeah, it just, I thought it'd be a nice segment in this vlog. All these plants right here, I've put it in sort of a theme, <laughs> like they're the tall green succulents, but all of these were given to me by my friend Tanya. She has this super epic succulent garden, as I've been told, I haven't personally seen it. So she gave me all of these cuttings, which I thought was very generous, and I'd have to say this one right here is definitely my favorite. These little mini growths off of it, and they're really delicate, but apparently when they fall to the ground, they just kind of like grow themselves. So I have a few growing over there. So let's see if anything happens to those. So this is where my collection actually formally began. This planter was actually also given to me. Uh, so I just took this planter, filled it with soil, and then my boyfriend's parents gave me some of these succulents that, man, these are like, I'm so proud of these because they've definitely grown really big and healthy. These used to be really, really tiny and now they have new growth as you can see. Oh, help. Man, seeing new growth is such a serotonin kick. It feels so good. But um, yeah, these were the, the big ones were the ones that were given to me by his parents. They're bigger now because they've had a, a year to grow big and healthy, so that one as well. And then this one's a really fun one. I Apparently this is like the weeds of succulents. It just grows wildly. And I, don't, I really don't mind it. I, I really like how it looks actually. And they're so fun and playful. And then um, I thought I'd share that. So this was a cutting. Uh, it's, I, I, think it's, I think it's growing. Um, what else is a cutting? This was a cutting off of a dead plant, so I'm trying to revive it. As you can see, it doesn't look like the healthiest condition. 
Uh, this was also a cutting that I'm trying to revive. Um, and then all these mini ones were also given to me by Tanya. She's the one that gave me the planter ones that I previously showed. But I think the coolest part of my collection is this right here. Do you see all the little succulent babies? Oh, so satisfying. I love that. Ah, oh. it, it's such a rewarding feeling. Like you grew that. Um, and this one has a little succulent baby underneath as well. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. These ones are really fun ones. <laughs> this is kind of like my experimental testing ground pot. So this plant is called the fire stick. So this is literally just. I found this cutting on the floor when I was walking around David's apartment, my boyfriend. And then as you can see, there's like new growth like all over. It's like peppered all over throughout the plant. So that is really rewarding. Um, I tried doing another one back here. And this one, for, I forgot what it's called exactly. Something with aloe, I think. But as you can see, all these leaves that are really like browning and wilted. That was from the when we first cut the plant. So funny story, we were on a hike <clears throat> and we saw this plant. It was practically falling off, so we took it as well. <laughs> and look at this, look at all these new leaves. That's all new growth. This continues to just spread and unfurl. This pointy one right here, this is just, this I think is like the biggest revival that I've done out of all the succulents that I have. To see new leaves unfurl like on a weekly basis is very satisfying. And also to just see roots grow on these cuttings. At first they were all dry and calloused and then putting it in soil you actually see the roots. That's just an amazing feeling. This one's also very sweet because my friend's mom just, just, I remember like getting a tour of her succulent garden and she just handed me like these two different succulents and she was like, hey, you can have these. This one's like impossible to kill. So it's a good way to start. And then she handed me this one. Very cute, but I still haven't really left, I haven't done anything with it besides the condition that she left it with. She just gave me these and I put it in a pot. So we'll see what I want to do with that. Now these, these are my biggest troublemakers. So this isn't a succulent or indoor plant of any sort, but these are my tomato plants. And it is a big pain because tomatoes require a lot of water and maybe it's just a patience thing too, because I, I like to see new growth all the time. but. As you can see, there's no new growth. I mean, it is it is flowering in some areas, but and then flowers are where the tomatoes come out of, but uh, for the most part, I haven't really seen any growth with these. But I have to be patient. I've only had these for like a month, so we'll see what happens. And then this cacti, also a very sweet and funny story. My friend didn't want this anymore, so I drove all the way to her place to pick it up, but during the commute, the this section got really weak. So this is actually supposed to be connected, these two parts, to be like a six foot long cactus, but during transportation, this part got really weak, so when we dropped it off, it just completely broke in half. But I thought it was not a big deal anyways, because it was pretty long anyways, so it would have been a little bit insecure if it's like a windy season. Um, so. This is very rewarding as well, but it has new growth, y'all. That is new growth, how fun. So yeah, the base does not look that healthy whatsoever, but um, I will say that this mini guy off coming off of it looks really healthy. So yeah.
look like ramen noodles. I'm gonna clean up my workspace. I don't want people to think it's small. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> Papers. Shaman. You should get the Alaska thing uh, on. Oh, that's nothing. I think we can do one more. Yeah, that's like the packet. That'd be wasteful, you know? This is definitely way more than four tables. <laughs> yeah, because uh, since we don't have a pulser doing it for us, people are probably cringing like, what the heck? I mean, this is essentially what the pulser does though. continue before I end the vlog I wanted to show you guys the plants <laughs> more plants but I wanted to show you guys the plants that I now have in my room because a little bit has changed so I thought I'd show that really quick so as seen in the portion before this my boyfriend reconfigured or upcycled whatever you call it this uh, chair and it looked <laughs> it looks like quite the intricate plant stand but it houses my monstera uh look at the new growth Ugh, i'll never get over that but this pot that i got was from tj maxx 15 bucks i mean come on like that's the size of my hand it's a Trust me, it's a pretty big planter pot, so I'm thrilled about finding that for that deal. Honestly, I feel like Goodwill nowadays is even that expensive too, so I was willing to fish out the 15 bucks for that. Um, this is pretty much the same. <laughs> I'm editing vlog the vlog as we speak, but this plant, this bamboo, blah, blah, bamboo plant is pretty much the same. It's really cool because I've never seen this before where there's like four new growths coming out of like one sprout. So 
that's pretty cool. So this is the next new, I guess, addition. I added the ZZ plant into my room. It used to be downstairs. And as seen in the clip before too, I actually separated it into three separate pots. This thing was getting overgrown and just like, it was not fitting in the pot. So I'm hoping that now that the plant has more room to grow, it'll grow fast. I mean, it already was growing fast. As you can see, there's a new growth sprout just right there. This one was a new growth too. You can tell by the like light greenish leaf color. And then these two were cuttings off of the Monstera plant, the mama one. I just cut them um, and they're doing pretty well, honestly. And I have one in my restroom too. And then this plant, I forget what it's called, but this one's pretty low maintenance and it's been doing well too. So that concludes the weekend in my life vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't typically vlog much anymore, but I'm thinking I want to get back into it. This was supposed to be a more talky vlog, but it ended up just being all about plants. So I hope you don't mind. But without further ado, I'm going to conclude the video here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!